Okay, uh, in this video and in the next one, we're going to derive some reduction formulas uh, that are used in special types of situations. Here we have the integral x to the n times the sine of x dx, and then we have a, a more complicated one where we have the sine of x is raised to a power, and the cosine of x is raised to a different power here, and we're integrating these. And for this type here, um, the reduction formula that we'll derive for it in the next video is used quite often in the study of beta integral functions. So that's why we're doing this stuff now. And here, starting with the first one, this should look pretty straightforward to you. Um, this obviously, to handle this, would be using integration by parts. And this would be the u, and this would be the dv. Remember our general formula, the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v dv. So we start off and we say let x or we say call it u actually let u equal x to the n so du equals n times x to the n minus one dx and dv is the sine of x dx. So v, if we integrate this, we get minus the cosine. So we start off, we have x to the n. times the sine of x dx equals u times v that's this times this so we'll have minus x to the n times the cosine of x minus the integral of v du that's this and here's a minus n so we'll take it to the outside as a plus n and now we have, predictably, x to the n minus 1 times the cosine of x dx. We left off our dx here. Okay, and we do this one more time around. Um, only now we're going to apply integration by parts to this integral. And again, clearly it's the same game. This here is going to be u, and this is dv. So we're going to have let u equal x to the n minus 1. So du. Oh, and we made a mistake. There is no dx here. dx comes from here. Okay. Um, du equals n minus 1 times x to the n minus 2 dx. And let's see, dv That's cosine of x dx. And when we integrate this, we get positive sine of x. No dx term, obviously. Okay, so now we're going to have this, this integral here. Um, x to the n minus.
minus 1 times the cosine of x dx will equal u times v x to the n minus 1 times the sine of x minus the integral of v du here we have n minus 1 out here leave that to the outside we could write plus 1 minus n but we'll leave it the way it is for the moment and we're going to have the integral of x to the n minus 2 times the sine of x dx and remember we started off with this integral and now we have it down, reduced down to this integral. Obviously, that's going to be the basis of our reduction formula. So let's see, we're going to have this the integral of x to the n sine of x dx will equal minus x to the n times the cosine of x and then let's see we had plus n times this integral so we go down to here and we're going to have plus n times this and n times this n times x to the n minus 1 times the sine of x minus n times n minus 1 and here's the reduction formula obviously now instead of having x to the n we have x to the n minus 2 times the sine of x dx and that's it. There's no need to go any further than that. You see what the general pattern is. And if you want, you can derive a very similar formula for x to the n times the cosine of x dx. And that comes out to equal x to the n times sine of x plus n x to the n minus 1 times cosine of x and then we have minus n times n minus 1 integral of x to the n minus 2 times the cosine of x Yes, and that's it. Um, we're not going to go any further. As you can see, it's just a straightforward application of integrating by parts. And you don't do it once, you do it twice. So x to the n gets knocked down to x to the n minus 2 power. And your reduction formula ends up like this. All these parts, of course, arrive from uh, doing the two previous integrating integration by parts. These are the UV terms that we have picked up along the way. Um, that's it. Now deriving it for this one is going to be a little bit more complicated. We just kind of used this example to get us introduced to the concept of reduction formulas. And this one here then, the reduction formula for this, that's the basis um, for reduction formulas for beta integral functions. And that's what we want to discuss a little bit in the next video.